everybody. I'm finishing up my kid's school lunches and thought I would answer this question. So I get this a lot when I talk about fluoride. People are like, what about hydroxyapatite? And first and foremost, if you don't like fluoride, you've read some stuff online that makes you nervous about it, I would encourage you to just check your sources. Go by folks that are giving you evidence-based information that's based on large studies. A lot of stuff, um, people are fear-mongering, trying to make you scared of fluoride so that you'll buy something else they're selling. So I like fluoride. I use it for my kids, but I'm a pediatric dentist. And so, I don't know, the, the system maybe has gotten to me. Oh, I just put the blueberries in the wrong place. I realized that. That's not good to talk. Talk and do this. But um, hydroxyapatite is the mineral that is naturally in our enamel. It's in our teeth. It makes up our teeth. And so, this whole process of cavity formation is acid and base, just remineralization and demineralization. Hold on, Red Room. When your tooth is exposed to acid, it demineralizes and some of that mineral comes out, that hydroxyapatite, and it enters into your saliva. And then once your pH raises back up, that's why I talk about basic bites and other things that I like to help raise the pH of the mouth back up, even just swishing with water, you're neutralizing that acid and your body naturally is able to put hydroxyapatite back in. The trouble is, if you use just hydroxyapatite, you're not getting added acid protection like you do from fluoride. Fluoride incorporates into enamel as fluoroapatite, and that fluoroapatite is more resistant to future acid breakdown by an order of magnitude. So pH of 5.5 is normally where acid demineralizes a tooth. It takes 4.5 to demineralize fluoroapatite, so a fluoride protected tooth. So it just protects the teeth. So I like fluoride. You don't have to use it. Hydroxyapatite is new. It is very expensive. Um, you see lots of companies without long histories using it, but if you want to use it, I would go with something that's been established for a while. My go-to is Carry Free. It has nano hydroxyapatite, 15%. You want to ask the percentage. A lot of times they're putting less than the effective amount, which you need 10%. Hydroxyapatite is different than nano hydroxyapatite too. Micro hydroxyapatite is what's in your tooth. Nano is synthetically made and it's smaller. Those are the studies that show some benefit. Nano hydroxyapatite can help with sensitivity. That's how Carry Free helped me. Also, you don't have safety data about nano hydroxyapatite in different sources. So it depends on who you're buying from. You just don't want to use something sketchy. And in that regard, without the safety data and stuff, I'm not recommending it for kids. I know fluoride works. I know it's safe in recommended doses. So that's what I recommend. My kids don't use nano hydroxyapatite. I do, but I use it with fluoride in curry free it has both nano hydroxyapatite and fluoride but uh yeah that's my take on hydroxyapatite i know that was long-winded i hope it helps i gotta fix this broccoli